Hi boys and girls. So today we are going to talk again about digital citizenship, how to be a good digital citizen. And our focus is going to be on digital trails. And we're going to talk about what a digital trail is. Um, last time we talked about what information is important to keep private, what's private information and what's okay to share. So we're going to be talking about private information because that's going to go along with our digital trails that we're going to talk about. And then we're going to read the story called The X-Files, Earth Children Are Weird by Chris Carter. So remember to go on Google Classroom after watching this video to fill out a participation form. All right, guys. So here we go. Digital trails, online track. So what information is okay to have in your digital footprint? That's our overarching question that we are going to answer. So today we are going to watch a video called Follow the Digital Trail. So have any of you heard of the word trail before? I'm sure you have. So a trail is a path or a track that someone can follow. So you think about that as in like in the woods and when you go for a hike, but also there is a digital trail. So our next thing is we're gonna watch this short video explaining what a digital trail is. And I want you to play Play close, pay close attention to the types of information that's okay to share online and what is not okay. And this should be easy for you because it's a review from last week. All right, let's watch our video. don't know where all these prints are coming from. It's a mystery. Whom do they belong to? You know, there's some footprints that you just can't erase. What do you mean? I'm talking about something we all do. We all leave footprints online. They're called digital footprints. Every time you go online to play a game, type an email, or search the internet, you leave a trail. Really? I'm online all the time sharing things. I play online, I post online, I submit and send things online almost every day. Well, since you're online a lot, you have footprints all over the place. And it's really hard to erase these footprints. You mean I can't just clean them up? No, it doesn't work like that. How does it work? Our digital footprint can get really big really quickly. So we need to pause and think when we're online. We need to be safe, responsible, and respectful. Wow. So what should I be careful about not sharing online? Never share private information like your full name, address, telephone number, your age or birthday, or even your school. I guess that makes sense. But what's okay to share then? I share personal information, just not private information. I keep my full name and address to myself, but I feel safe sharing stuff like my hobbies and my favorite things. Okay, I think I've got this. I may have a big footprint online, but I need to make sure what I'm sharing is safe, responsible, and respectful. You got it. It still doesn't solve the mystery of these muddy footprints though. Aha, case closed. Remember to pause and think online. If you're not sure what to do, ask a trusted adult first. How big is your digital footprint? Okay, so now a digital footprint. So what is okay to share online? What were some things that they talked about? So your, your personal information is okay to share. So your opinion on things, things that you like, those sorts of things. 
And things that you should not share online are your use your private information like your full name, your address, your phone number, your age, your birthday, where you go to school. So what this is, is this is a digital fit footprint and it's a record of what you do online, including the sites that you visit and the things that you share. As long as the information that you share is not private information, then you are okay. So this is some of the information that Feet says you should not share. And these are the things that we went over last time. Your full name, your address, your phone number, your age, your birthday, your school name. And that's because that is private information that can be linked back to you. Now, private information is information about you that can be used to identify who you are. So remember last time we, we, we used the example that there's not two people in your class or our school that have the same first and last name and the same phone number. So anything that allows people to identify just you. And then what information does Feet think it's okay to share online? Well, personal information is okay. Like hobbies, if you love to play baseball or basketball or dance, your interests, things that you enjoy doing, uh, your favorite things, those are okay for you to share online and that's okay to have in your digital footprint because we all have a digital footprint and when something is goes on the computer and it goes online it's this word it's permanent and it lasts forever because once it's on the internet once it goes out there you can't take it back so once you put your pers your private information on there, you're not going to be able to delete it because it's stored someplace on an app's database or it's it's out there. So you don't want to add any personal, any private information and just keep it to your hobbies and your interests and things like that. All right, boys and girls, so I hope this made sense to you. Um, our digital footprint, they leave a permanent trail about us on the internet, and we've talked about what's okay to share and what's not okay to share. All right, so now we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna go to our story. And I hope you guys have been using the OverDrive, the Sora app, because it's actually very cool. There's a ton of books on here. This one is called The X-Files. Earth children are weird. Here we go. And as you can see by our clue here, it's about UFOs and aliens. Here we go. Then the alien spaceship vanished into the sky and it was never seen again. The end. That was really scary, Dana. Maybe we should sleep inside the house. Don't be silly, Fox. You know aliens aren't real. But the universe has billions of planets. So? So it's crazy to think that one is it crazy to think that one other planet might have intelligent life? Here we go again. And if one other planet sent a UFO to Earth? Ah, it's happening. The aliens are coming. Are the aliens coming? That's just the porch light, silly. Dana. Fox, we told you to turn off those flashlights. It's time for bed. You see, no aliens. But how do you explain that terrifying shadow? Ah! 
It's just Buster. Here, boy. That's a good dog. I told you there was nothing to worry about. But what could have made this giant footprint? Don't you remember? We're getting a swimming pool. They must have started digging this summer. Oh, right. I forgot. Ooh, squee, ooh, squee, ooh. But what's making that awful alien noise? just an owl and the old tire swing. I guess I do have a really wild imagination. That's the smarter thing, smartest thing you've said all night. All this talk about UFOs is crazy. Oh, but is it, boys and girls? Let's look. I'm sorry I got carried away. That's okay, Fox. You're still my best friend. Oh, was he right? Look at all those aliens. Oh my goodness. Now let's go inside and get some sleep. Wait, did you leave the tent unzipped? No, did you? Hi, Bida, hi, Bida, hi, Kida, hi. Ah! Squee! Ooh! <laughs> Aren't they so cute? They scared each other. Ah! So it looks like the aliens are scared and they're running back, and then Dana and Fox are running back. What's all the fuss? Everything okay? Everything's fine. We're going to sleep upstairs. Ah! Well, that was a close call. Definitely. But it sounds like they're asleep now. Oh. <laughs> Earth children are weird. Squee! All right, boys and girls, there's our mysterious UFO story called The X-Files. Earth children are weird. All right, I hope you enjoyed the story. I want you to remember and think about your digital footprint. And that's all of what you do online. It includes the sites that you visit and the things that you share online, and that's why we need to keep our private information private. All right, guys, until next time. See